I'm going to call the meeting to order. It's uh, 7 o'clock. And if you haven't had a chance to look at the minutes yet, please do that. And uh, I'll entertain a motion for accepting them. Can I make a motion to accept the minutes? That was quick. Mm -hmm. Is there a second? Second. 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 Comments, questions, changes? Um, it's obviously pretty small. Pretty good. Yeah, it wasn't Questions, Tom? You good? Yeah, of course. Okay. All in favor? Yeah. Two, three, four. four all in favor. Okay. Okay, we have um, a couple gentlemen here who are going to speak about a subdivision up on Buzzle Road. And um, yes, can I if you, want? you can um, follow along, I guess, either on the screen or perhaps we have copies. Aha. Would you like me to set the board up? Or? You, you, whichever you do. I'll have it at least set up. And Ian, we got a pointer for you if you want to use the screen too. You can't get out of the corral here much more. Right? <laughs> yes, I got you. You got you. It's the family style meeting. <laughs> I have a copy of the three. Okay. Yeah, so just the emails one. So if you want to give them what you've got. Yeah, this is the same thing. Might have just kind of a little bit of skill. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Brad. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Is this the whole board or is it one of We're missing three, right? Cool. One, two, three. Right. Yeah. yeah. So this is on seven all together? Yeah. Wow. Five actual members and then two alternates. Oh, good. So there's five votes typically wow. in, a, in a normal meeting. There's more, there's more people there than just three. We have four or five there. Yeah. Uh, so we've been working with Mr. Martel, team in two years now on the parcel on Young's Ridge. He bought two lots a couple of years ago. Is it two, more than two, yeah? Okay. I was going to, I thought it was more, but. I thought it was three or something. We Originally three, three lots? No, five. Three years. No, three, three years. years. Sorry. Yeah. So we've got two lots out there. What's the acreage total? Uh, it is 82 uh, acres. 88. Uh, total is uh, 88. 88. Kind of 89. 89. 89. 89. Yes. How big is the Buzzle Road site? 47. 47, and yeah. then the balance is on the Young's Ridge Road. Yes. Yeah, actually, the Buzzle site is 42 and then 47 on the other. So he's proposed a few locks going down the Buzzle Road area with some open space behind it, but then eventually he's trying to do something on this parcel here. So he wanted to talk Phase one, that's really what he's looking at doing, but he also didn't want the board, the board to think um, he's doing something over here and just surprise you after phase one's done, that there, there could be a phase two in the future. Um, he's been working on, basically we've just called it a driveway coming in here, he's worked over that. Uh, he's reclaimed the field that was here, removed the trees and revegetated the field that was out there. How many yards of loom did you bring into that field? Um, I, I don't know how much it cost me. But I, <laughs> I, you know, I, back for you. Well, when I first started the project, I, I took the old farmhouse signs. It was in it was in rough shape. My goal was to maybe clean it up and, and, and rehab it, but just mow the lawn and, and just the shape it was in. It, uh, well, I could have spent a half a million dollars in there, and I still would have had an old house. So, uh, and I decided just to. Uh, we tore it down, but most of the stuff I gave to all the neighbors, whoever wanted anything, and you know, just to keep it the family. So I ended up giving a lot of the stuff away, whatever's left, and we tore it down. But uh, when I tore that down, I didn't have enough loom over there, so I, I, I like 100, with the truck and everything, it was like 120 grand. I, I figured out the yardage if I uh, took a minute here, but uh, 
I had to do that because, uh, you know, working with Ken has been great, but uh, there wasn't enough room to rehab and, and seed it right away because I wanted to seed it, you know, in, uh, until I got further down. So I, have, I really have I have put the uh, horse before the car on that one uh, or, 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 or the other way. But I ended up blooming the whole thing, and, uh, and uh, so that, that's quite a bit of room we hold in, yeah. This was the old way down to the lake here. The new satellites probably would show the driveway he's put kind of rolls over this way. Yeah. Again, the focus was on the lots coming down through Buzzle Road. How many lots were proposed on that? Seven. Seven lots. Yep. Yeah, with open space behind it, which really brings this property line here as being relocated over, I would assume. Right. Somehow, yes. where you know, and we've been kicking it around. Do we do both at the same time? Do we do one? Do we do the other? With cluster, we've talked cluster quite a bit, um, and I think this is probably the first time in a long time that we're using a town road for all our road frontage, so he doesn't have to build a lot on this one here. Um, Some of the concepts, this is just traditional subdivision here, 250, two acres, right up through the, the area. This must be the existing property line. It is, yeah. This one here, the open space comes in between each lot on this concept, concept two, which we talked about it, and he wants to be able to control the buffer between the houses so the people can't cut all the trees. And I thought this concept worked out pretty good. This is a 50-foot buffer in between each one. This reduces lot size down. Road frontage is reduced a little bit also. So we're at a point where we're looking for planning board guidance. So once he gets a feel for which direction the planning board wants him to go, they can start doing test pits and things like that. Uh, the concern was if we assume the planning board wants one versus the other we'll have two test pits on one lot and none on the other um, i think uh, three is just cluster reduced without the buffers in it yeah so now we're down the those lots of one acre lots um, and we've got another seven acres of open space in the of that and this kind of surrounds it on the seven acres right here. And this gave a buffer from, this is a residence here, and you got a few across the street too. Hmm. Sort of like cluster hybrid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess I'm, I'm looking at these today, and I, I spent some time this afternoon with, with a different match. I, I guess the first question that jumped out at me was, well, What's the reason behind going cluster? Well, I'll be honest with you, Well, Ken, Ken, Ken brought it up. Okay. That's why I said you The ordinance know. says the town's really pushing cluster, mm -hmm. and you need to come in with a plan, cluster, and a traditional plan. Mm -hmm. And then the planning board would say, we're going with cluster. Uh, or, and I think when we're looking at the big lot, cluster makes sense there too, but Sometimes, like this one here, maybe the board would say, cluster doesn't make any sense. It's, let's go traditional with this. So, um, in the past, the board has pushed the clusters, and the developers seem to like it a little bit if they're building roads, because uh, like a plantation drive, we turned a 2,000 foot road into 700 feet. And it keeps everybody into one neighborhood and then the balance of open spaces out there for ever as is. And, and assuming this were to go cluster for a minute, um, do, would you foresee the land in the back, the open space land, remaining under the owner of the property's control, in your case, yes. you, or would it become an association that would take well, care of it? In, in, in the perfect world, what I'd like to do with this, I like the concept of one is what I like. I like the two acre zoning, okay? Uh, um, the 250 feet of uh, frontage, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, why, I, I just like, I, I just like the, the little bit bigger lots. Three is definitely, I, I don't like it at all. 
because now you got a row of houses on top of each other. I, I just don't like it. You know, I want to do the right thing. And that's how I, you know, I take when I do projects. I take I take it to heart. It ain't like I'm up here doing this and I'm leaving. I'm going to be up here. I'm going to be moving up here in my family compound. I really don't like the concept of that. And I like the second one. Like I was talking to Kevin about it. So I have some control where I want to leave. I want to leave trees in between each lot, so it's nice, you know. <clears throat> but now you get the smaller lots. So at the same time, I, it, it, it goes, it, I go back to concept one, where I can still control this because I can put in the deeds. I, I like the bigger lots better because it gives you more spread out of the houses. Okay, uh, and now I, 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 I did some research on this. I can take the lot line and put a no cut zone and put it into the deed where they can't cut 25 feet from the lot line on each side. So now I'm protected, you people are protected, the neighbors are protected, uh, so somebody can't come in and just clear cut right to the lot line, okay? Because that's what I don't want, you know what I mean? Because it's for aesthetics. And then you cut along the roadway. My goal is just to prune out along the roadway, cut out some of the dead stuff, and mulch, and mulch it. That's what I'm gonna do, and the same thing in between. So that's gonna really cover the same thing as doing the cluster on, um, on on concept two, where you get the smaller lot. Somebody wants to build a house with a two-car garage attached, they get a little bit more breathing room, and it doesn't look like they're on top of each other. That's the look I don't want. Now, if you guys want it, I don't think you would, but for the same thing as once looking for my house on the other side, I can look across, and I don't want to see that houses in a row. So my opinion, I, I think that's the best concept where I can control it. And everything has to be in writing today because we just saw a lot to somebody and then they do something you, you wish you never did. So I can control that open space look, but they have to they have instead of open up a can of worms with everybody else that wants to develop or do something. Keep it the keep it the way it is with the uh, Talon Road on those seven lots to keep the two 250 feet of frontage. But put stipulations they cannot cut the trees. Mm -hmm. You can even put it, hey, you want to cut a tree, you go back to playing a board. Or not that I want to put the burden on you people either, or can. I know you, everybody's busy. But once it's there, they can't, you know, they really can't do it. You know, I can word it any way you can know, word it, you know. So, and, 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 I want to, and I want to be a good neighbor with you people, but you got to, everything's going to be right. But I do like the concept, the first concept, and then the rest of the land on the back of those lots. The rest of that land, I'm going to take and add that all to the piece on the left on, the, on, on uh, Young's Street Road. And then I want to take and make that all open space. But I, but I don't see that in plan one. I well, see it in plan two, and I see it in plan three, where you have uh, the boundaries set up. But I don't see any change in plan one. Well, there would be actually a, a lot of line adjustment. This line in the middle would disappear. That would be gone. So the, 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 the remaining land would become part of that. And and where would you anticipate that line to be? Right, right behind, behind the lots. Right behind the southern, southern lots. Just like it is, let's say in two or worse yet. In so this one. right here, this line right, right here. Here you go. Yeah, right here, right there. Right there. Right on that this, line. this line disappears. Yep. This line becomes the new line. Right. Forty-two acres now becomes just twenty-eight acres of open space. Well, that's going to, it's going to, now it's going to be, I'm going to merge it with a big piece on the left on Young's Ridge. And then when I sit down and talk to people about doing something on Young, Young's Ridge, now that's, eventually that's going to be all open space. And, and, and that's going to stay open space? Yes. Yep. Would no, that gonna, have to stay with this subdivision no, in no. order to be a cluster? I'm not doing what I'm going to do. Well, with this, this wouldn't be a cluster. This is not a cluster. No. That, this meets the regulations of two, a, two acre. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I can control the tree cutting and, and the setbacks and everything from the road in, in between the lots. Place in deeds, which is only seven lots. And uh, I think that would be the best concept for that buzz road area instead of having houses on top of each other. Because I am going to come in on the bigger piece with a, with a, uh, with a cluster. So eventually, most of that land in the middle is going to be all open space. So this line right here is not the property line way over here. That's this line would be in this area here. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So you'll go behind those seven lots right about where Ken is right now. That's going to be all left open space. And then on the second, <clears throat> the second lot. How many are you anticipating it at some point putting in there? Twenty. 
<laughs> but it's going to be a cluster. Uh, it's going to be a cluster to be a uh, one-acre lot. You need to give all the rest of the land open space. How many of those are going to have water rights? Um, well, we, I haven't gotten really that far with it yet. I got three lots on the water. Um, but I haven't got that far yet. I'm still doing some research on it. For a waterfront access, you need a full-size lot, two acres, 250, and then every time you give rights, it's another 25 feet. Okay. So it really limits the, um, the old way was a 10-foot wide right away, and all the back lots got to use the right away, and there's not even enough room for a dock down there or anything like that, so that's why that ordinance was changed. So this property that we're talking about that potentially would become open space, yep. is that a big a wooded area? Is that a, yes. a forested area? Well, right now it is pretty much down the middle of, the, of both pieces still wooded. Mm -hmm. I'm grassing right now. I, my goal in life is to have all of uh, Buzzard Road where it's cut right now. That's going to be field. You know, I want to grass it. I like the looks of the grass. So there's a lot of dead trees in there. And what I'm doing now is on my side on um, on uh, Young's Ridge. Well, I'm sure you guys have seen how much how much grass I was for the first time about I don't know three weeks ago. Yeah, I was, really. I was kind of shocked at what, yeah. what I was looking at. I had yeah. no idea what was. Yeah, it used to be there. fields years ago, yeah. and it matches the horn property next door. But whatever's cut there is going to be grass and field. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a few people that uh, came up to me to, uh, you know, they they like to cut it. They want to cut the grass for the animals and stuff. And that's my goal to have that look going uh, going down going down on my side. And the same thing. Are you talking hay fields? Yes. Okay. I've talked to a few guys. That, you know, there's a lot of grass to cut, but they're all for it. They like it. I want to put some nice feeder plots out there for animals. You know, I'm saying 20 lots, but my goal in life. I'm not developing it. I want to get it approved for my grandkids. This is going to be a family compound. I'm not coming up blowing out 20, 30 houses and leaving. Okay? That's not that's not that's not my intentions. Uh, I would I wouldn't be if that was my intention to build a 20 lot subdivision. I wouldn't be spending. I spent a quarter of a million dollars just grassing what I already did. Am I crazy? I, I'm starting to think so. But that's that's the look I want. You know what I mean? So uh, I spent I, I spent a ton, and I'm not even done. I it's expensive to do, you know, rip all the you know, the dead trees, the stumps, screen all the room and put it back and see it. That's kind of put a million dollars. Easy, you know. But that's the look I'm looking for. So anything that you see that's been cut and stuff or whatever's gonna be cut is going to be all field. And I, I, like I said, I have a bunch of farmers approach me and they said, What are you gonna do? Can we cut it? I said, No problem. Uh Dave, Dave Lamy was one of them and uh and they're all due back. But that's a concept I like. And I said, well, let's get together. Tell me what kind of oats, what kind of uh, seed you guys want. Not knowing that I was spending another 50 grand on seed, but I mean, wait a minute. I'm putting out caveat for these guys. <laughs> but it's fast growing. And I learned a lot, you know, and it's oats. And, and, and it, looks, it looks beautiful. But that's, if you look at Breckett Farm going towards poor people's spot on the left, yeah. I've been coming out here since I've been five years old. That's why I know what's going on in the area. I used to come right around the corner of it. But that's the that's the that's the look I want, and uh, and that's my intentions on this. And that's why I wanted to get approved approved now. God forbid if I die tomorrow. But it's going to be. I have five grandkids. I get three kids. My, I get three. I get sister and two brothers that are going to take a while. I'm giving them to free because they've been up there helping me working, and uh, so they they get three lots right on Buzzard Road, um, so I can control them. But that's my goal is is to have the. Uh, is to have the 20 lots and, and not build it. I might, I might build a house on the water with my son. It's funny because my wife wants to be on the water, and now he's later. I want to be on the top, and Ken knows that. I'm going to move that house or give it away. I want to build something different. It's only a module I built to, to to live in while I develop this piece. Until I build a house on the water, I want to be up in the hill. I don't want to be down there. <laughs> so we're flipping the coin. If you want to get on the bottom of the hill. You know, I don't be up on top. I've been saying that to Ken, you know, I, I, I get the best of both worlds, so. But uh, that's my goal. So don't let 20 lots get you. And, um, Brad, how deep are these lots on Concept 2? Concept 2 must be 300 or so. I suppose I could have divided that by 200. Yeah, but they're... Uh, Close to 200, 200, I mean, uh, 300. 
I don't uh, I don't think it's to scale. Uh, it's like a half scale one too. An inch to two hundred feet, and I don't see that. Kenny, can you um, give us a rough figure of the shore frontage um, that would be applicable here for phase two? About three hundred eighty feet. Three eighty deep. Yeah. So almost twenty thousand, almost a half acre in concept two of this open space coming in between it. Um, we've done the no cuts in between the two houses, and of course it's all cut by the time somebody calls us. They don't call and tell us it's being cut during it. And we've had people where the parents live in one house and the kids live in the other and they want to cut it, and grass in between, and you know we put regulations on the no cut. The no cut's hard, I think, for the town to enforce, but if this was, had this finger of, um, um, open space conservation. Then it's um, the keeper of the conservation's job to. Uh, it's not their property; they can't cut it. Well, I, you know, they pretty much yeah, they can't, but they, they almost do the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it, when it's in the deed, but then you get to yell at them. I well, either that now they got to replace it. It's easier exactly. to replace it if it's in the deed. You know. Mm -hmm. This is what I do back at, at home. This is what I do for a business. You know, and uh, and uh, so I'm familiar with how to talk to people, treat people, and, and, and what how people are once they own, take ownership. So you got to, it's pretty much etched in stone. Like I said, I want to be a good neighbor to you people. I don't want somebody coming up here to say, hey, and I want, that's not me, I want to come up here, this is your back dad, you know what I mean? So I want to be a good neighbor, and that's why I'm here, I asked Kenneth, so let's have a meeting. So you guys can send me in the right direction, because I'm spending a lot of money with this guy right here next to me for the left. But, um, so, but it doesn't matter. Concept one is good. Concept uh, two is good too. About a thousand feet of water frontage. Um, yes. It's a, little, it's a little more because it's uh, I think it's eleven hundred feet. Yeah. Close to the mouth, like yeah. 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 yeah, especially that peninsula. Yeah. Yeah. And through there. So, what are we using for a figure for that? Eleven hundred. So, roughly. The one. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he's got way more than uh, would be necessary for twenty-three. Um, two that's the phase two part, and we don't have plans for that yet, but we have talked, and the plans I've seen had three lots, so there's 750 gone right there, so that would leave you a balance of 350, three lots uh, right on the would be a second lot, and maybe two or three back lots would have access to it if, if that's the route they went. Time, let me just understand what, what you said there. Three proposed lots, shorefront lots, and then the uh, remainder would be allocated to a necessary shorefront for clusters that four um, rights for a back property, yeah. which would probably be two to three. Yeah, and that hasn't changed for a while as far as um, some of the other options we've talked about, that changes quite often. And that's why we're just trying to uh, get a concept from the planning board what they a direction for the seven lots on Bustle tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, there's nothing stopping you from making bigger open space. So if you run out of space in lots. Is it? Go ahead. I was just going to ask about the, uh, like, is there a ratio for this uh, cluster in terms of percentage of uh, yeah, open? Yeah, it's going to be over 50%. 50%? Yeah, over yeah. 50. And typically, the ones that are set up in here are just over 50. They've got, you know, you, you went through it and got it, yeah. you know, a tenth or whatever yeah. more, and that's, you know, it, it seemed to fit the whole thing when I was looking at it anyway. But of course, those lots can be go down to less than an acre mm -hmm. yeah, in size if, if, if you go to the cluster first. What, what kind of land are we talking about over here? I mean, I see you have building envelopes kind of, you know, in here. Are, are they truly all buildable areas oh, within yeah, the last? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it's buildable. very nice. We're on the Basel Road. Yeah, I, 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 you're asking. It's all big flat. Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah. Yeah, they, it does drop off. You kind of see it with the corner. Yeah, I see you. If anything, but 
but up top here where the house is being built is, yeah. is a lot of level land. Good. So here's the contour maps here, 20 foot contours. Yeah. So it's running fairly good here. Uh, resource protection overlays on it, so there's no RP in this area. And I haven't reread the ordinance for a while, but um, you don't want somebody giving all the open space to junk land they can't build on. Yeah. Uh, this is a little wet down through here. This is slopey, but it's this area could be developed if you wanted to or had to. But. Yeah. Yeah, where it's cleared up here on the right on, um, on Buzzard Road right there. I, I have another concept of a plan that I can put a road in there and put more lots in there. But once again, I just want to do something nice and clean looking. And I even, I'm going to tell you this right now, even where you live on, on uh, Langley Shore there. Um, I even thought if it was worth it, I mean, I, I don't want to scare everybody away. Maybe if you guys wanted to have a road come back out through my hand, I, I've been beating this thing. Like, I probably spent 30 grand with this guy. I like him, I thought that was fun to go that much. But I even have a plan of a road coming out with lots going all the way out, coming back out to Buzz, Buzz Road. And then I, I talked to Ken about it. I said, you know, I don't want to open the can of worms and make sure I got to be fighting and stuff. Well, we have a, we have a uh, turnaround. Right yeah, right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Right. I thought yeah. maybe if maybe a few people said, hey, look at it. Let's make it so that, you know, I'll, I can make it so I gave you guys some land and we get out the road and come back out that way. It's good for, you know, the ambulance, the fire department, or anything. And if you guys said, hey, we like that concept, I'm willing to do something like that too and lay it out that way. It's, it's more expensive for me because they're going to put a road in, or we can leave it like it is. I mean, if I had a lot over there, I'd like to cut right through there too instead of going all the way around, but that's just food for thought. You know, you guys might laugh at me, or I'll like, I'll keep it the way it is. So I said, you know what? So uh, instead of a dead end on Langley, right. it'll come back up and come up through here. Or it, it's, instead of going all the way around the world to get back over to the other side, it's just food for thought. I, well, I can, uh, my husband's treasurer of the Road Association, so I can, I can float that yeah. by him. And I've got a plan. You don't have it with me. See but if uh, that's something that the uh, board wants to entertain. Sure. It will work, but we'll get a plan on that. Yeah, we could. And then I have, yep. and I have lots going, having a road going down and hook it on a Langley onto that circle. I've talked to Pat, the guy, the gentleman that lives in Concord, Mass. I've got a hold of him, and, and I told him, no matter what I do, I'm gonna, I'll come and see you. And, and like I said, I want to be a good neighbor. I, I want to knock everybody's doors when I bought this piece. That's what I did. But uh, we can connect that right through there. And then, I, like Brad says, well, what do you want to do with it? Ah, I just don't want to rattle you people. But it's great food for thought if you want to go that way. You know what I mean? I like it because it's God forbid if somebody's sick and having a heart attack, you gotta go all the way around that world. But that's an option that I can offer to you people at my expense. And instead of having then I think I get five or six lots, five lots on on um, on Buzzard, then the road comes through close to that circle and you get a couple on that on that road going around. So there's a couple of different you don't have to land with you. I don't I don't think I have that particular yeah. This was the open target. We were trying to try to fixate tonight and focus on one plan, but it seems like we're still going to have a plan B. Yeah, yeah. It's just, you know, once again, it's just so expensive, and uh, I, I can't beat this thing with that. I'm into this land for a lot of money, but uh, my con once again, my thoughts is working on Buzz Road, give, my, give two of those three lots away to my, my uh, sister and brothers, uh, and then the rest, if I can sell them, I'll sell them. I'm not pushing the sell them. I'm not coming up here put a million houses in there. I want to look down the field and I saw them look at something nice, but uh, but that side I figured I could do something with it. And uh, if you want to hook in the road, we can go that road too, you know? Yeah, I didn't have that for you. Anybody else? Just, uh, it's probably not applicable, but there's a, Citation here on, on all the drawings on the site notes. Shoreline district within 200 foot of lake. It's actually 250 feet. About 250 of okay. By definition. Just the shoreline district. Uh, yeah. Right now. Okay. Um, yeah, we can't go too much further on this until. Um, Ani, until you show us maybe a, a representation of that fourth concept, you know, where, the, where you're going to be uh, suggesting that we intersect Young's Ridge and, and um, uh, 
Yeah. Oh, that's exactly sure. Yeah. So they'd be, it would go all the way across to um, Young's Ridge again, or would be a close move? No, no, no. No, that no. would still go down here. Okay. Yeah, I think that would be sure. Into a little bit now. Yeah. Common, common egress and right. yeah. access. Yeah. yeah. But with the grade, it may have to come up. Yeah. yeah just like that. Yeah, you yeah. can't go right to the curve. Right. Uh, yeah. Can I go? Can I go to it? Sir, see, it's just like this right here. The road would come down. I mean, I beat this thing. I, I had the road coming all the way down here because of the grades and coming up this way. But, I mean, it gets expensive. But right now, I can hook onto that circle. We can come just like this, and I think we end up in between maybe two lots. Right in there, yeah. Just like that. I mean, what is that circle? Less these? Yes. Yeah, 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 sure. That's the cul de sac area. It's just a dead end circle. Yeah. Where a turn around. Of what road? Land the shore. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you separate those and uh, put me back in. So you can kind of see it on that. <laughs> so it would change. Now, it would change this lot, so now that I have a few more lots on each side of that road and take them out of here. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I mean, I'm willing to do it, and that's why, like I said, I figured I'd go with something easy, and I don't want to open up a can of worms with all these people, but I want, like, once again, not, not to pat myself on the back, I, just, I want to be a good neighbor. So if you guys say, hey, look it, we love it. Now, if somebody needs an ambulance or a fire department, you ain't going around the whole world, you know? Now you're going to cut right through here. So you're, you're looking to put it... To put it off buzzle in? Yeah, off a buzzle, just like that. Wait till that. Originally, when we talked about it, I thought the Langley Road Association may like it because anybody that lives roughly from here would probably be coming in this way, and that would reduce all the traffic coming by these camps. But yeah. it's a nice it could be easier coming out too in the winter. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a potential. <laughs> But then he has to go talk to an association, get an association to agree on when to meet, how to meet, and then agree on. Yeah. Well, you know, that's something that I need help. I'm, I'm not, you know, I don't mind putting in 150% of my time, but I'm not going to be beating on doors and getting uh, beat up. I think if the association can get, association can get together and I give you a plan, and that's all. You know. Like I said, I mean, it's, I can, I can, um, I, think I can I can let them know um, tonight. Yeah, okay. that there's I think a it'll proposal be... out there that could be a possibility to see if they're interested. Yeah. I mean, two of the officers of the association are here year round, yeah. so this yeah, would involve the cooperation of the lot twenty six. Yeah, the man was that Benjamin. Yeah, so he'd have to would have to acquire right away to to connect back to the. Well, he owns it all the way across, right? Yes. So I don't, I don't think there's any provision for that right away to continue. It probably just ends with that color. I think, that, I think there's a, no, I think there's a couple of houses uh, at the end that have are in this, that same position. Okay. Guy. I mean, like I said, I just. Yeah, that one did. Yeah. I, I think it'd be you know, as a land developer, it'd be awesome. Just, just for the, for, for you know, just for the, uh, like I say, just for an emergency. Would we have to deal anywhere in there if we were to extend that? How close are we to the water? Oh, you're, you're no. pretty far away. You're not even still, close. Oh, yeah. You're still over 250? Oh, more than that. 500. The only downside I see is the people living in these last few lots right. have a nice, quiet, dead-end road. Yeah. Now it's going to be a main thoroughway. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what Ken said to me. So I said, you know something? I ain't open up a sweeper giant. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And, but it's just food for thought. If you can put the posse together and say, look it. I'll mention, I'll mention it to them, yeah. you know, and they, they can have to, the board can meet, yeah. but they'd have to go in front of our annual meeting, yeah. which isn't until July. Oh. Well, I'll be unless, honest. Unless, say, they call a special meeting, right. which would be difficult because almost everyone's seasonal. Yeah. Well, like I said, the only, only reason why I'm here now, I mean, my brother's okay, but when you're giving somebody something for free, they want it yesterday. <laughs> and, and, uh, and that's the only reason why I'm doing Buzzard Road right now. I do have a plan. I'm not going to, you know, hide nothing from you people. I have a nice plan uh, on on my side too. I've got it with me. I, I don't know if you, I wanted to really rock you, rock you, but you know, it's a, what 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 it looks like. The other with the 22 lots over there, now that's out of the bag. I do have a plan here to show you, but um, but 
I just want to get my brothers off my case once again. Something for free, Yahoo! And uh, they can drive, you know, their four wheels. They'll come down to my beach for, for now. But uh, uh, and there's going to be no beach rights from on Buzzard Road either, you know. So because I can live it while I'm up there living, I want to see a nice clear. You might see a house in the water, and I'm not going to say you might not see one house off to the side next to the um, the ones family there, but. Uh, that's my goal in life, you know what I mean? If you build seven houses within a year or two years, I don't think it's gonna happen overnight, but so hey, you know what I mean? But on my side, you might you might see one on the water next year or the year after, and that's my goal. But I wanna get it approved now, now <clears throat> for the family, and it's gonna be a family compound. I've had people approach me to buy that for boys camp. They want to open up this camp I'm in. I even asked Ken about it, I said, oh, I don't even, you know, they said, no, no, I'm not doing that. But I have, I, I've had people call me to do different things on the piece of land. They said, no, no, yeah, I'm not. Kind of respect for you people. I'm, I'm in your backyard, you know. Like the horns and, uh, and, and Robin Ham. I got to know a lot of people up here. I'm not, but everybody's all me about it. I'm not going to do it. I give my card, which I'm going to give you guys a card and call me 24 7. So the horns, I get pretty friendly with them in the last two or three years. I felt like I'd been up here for 20 years. I got to look at my when I bought that. But anyhow, she calls me one night and I said, everything okay? She goes, I got to talk to you. When are you coming up? I said, I'll come up right now. I, I don't, I can't, you can't do that to me. But I, I took a liking to them because I enjoy people. And I met her mother, God bless you, she died last year. I helped her bring her out of the house. I mean, I'll do that I get myself into it. But, so I go up there and said, what's going on? She goes, why is it, you, you always talk about doing, ask me to do anything on your hand. I don't care if you cut it, no matter what you do. I say, because that's how I do things. I want to be a good neighbor. And, and, and it took off, you know what I mean? But that's how I do things. And uh, that's why I'm here getting a blessing from you people. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's how that's how it is. And, and then I talked to the guy, Pat, I said, you know, I'll put the off on the dig. It's going to be more money for me to build the road going through. But you guys are going to say, wow, this guy is doing something good. He's giving back to the community, you know? So, I like the concept, but I just, like I said, I didn't want to open up a sleeping giant here. And like and, and Ken said, uh, I've been meeting with Ken, he's been helping me a lot, and he says, yeah, that's, uh, only those two people might, you know, might not like it. Well, the last house, I did ran a house on the lot, the guy Pat that I, I talked to on the phone. And, uh, Number 26? Yeah. Oh. I talked to him, I said, you know, sir, don't panic. I said, before I do anything, I'm coming to see you in Concord, and I'm going to show you. Because that's how I do my projects. I'll show you everything I'm doing, <clears throat> and I'll put it right in whatever. And, uh, and then, uh, like Ken said, you're gonna open up an animal here. I said, you know something? Maybe I'll leave it alone. But it's just food for thought. I'd love it if I was in your shoes. You, you must live half, you live halfway there. I've seen you in the yard. Cause I drive around the <laughs> <laughs> It's all good. It's never the day. I was up in a tree. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> So it's just food for thought. Yeah. But I don't want to, you know, yeah. if I can get at least the budget road approved and we can design it and don't just do the, the three lots I'm going to give to my brothers. So hey, if it takes me until July or August, we got to them. I just want them off my back. You so, know what I mean? So if we, and I guess I'm talking to you, Ken, for a second. If we were to, let's say, give our thoughts about doing one of two plans for puzzle. Um, and then he gets started with the idea that potentially down the road there's a chance that we may have to change perhaps the last two lots and then cut a road in and then perhaps put those two and, and maybe another one or two more on that other road going back to Langley Shores is that a doable thing? Yeah, ideally before they come in for subdivision pre-application or something He's got some guidance to figure out it's doable to come in from Langley or it's not. So that at least would probably keep the first five lots mm -hmm. unchanged as far as test pit data and locations, uh, site visibility data for driveway entrances, all that data would all be there. This would just be the only thing that may change out there. So that would be the roll of the dice they would have to that they've engineered something that they're not going to do. Langley Shores is currently private with Wayne. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's doable for me either way, mm -hmm. you know. I just don't want to be the bad guy on the, on, up there in the neighborhood 
Do you mean, did you be proud of it? Well, if you, everyone wants to know what's, what, yeah, what the yeah, planes are. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, if I lived over there, I'd say, you give me, give me, send this guy to Disney World. I'd love <laughs> to have that. It's there's square ways around that whole loop to get, you know, if you, you know, if you, uh, I don't know. I know, I do it every day. You do it? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I like it, but once again, and I said I wasn't going to bring it up. I just, I'm putting it out there because I think it's an awesome. I think it's, I think it's a good idea. And once again, I'm not gaining nothing from it, and it's an expense for me. But. So the other big question is sort of cluster versus regular subdivision. Yeah. And whether or not, like Bob was saying in the beginning, the a cluster, and then that the acreage behind the houses is part of association, and then the people on Buzzle sort of control that land behind them. Well, just to the back of the lot line. It's just well, back. wouldn't it be to the, if it was a cluster, it would be the back of the open space? Well, yeah, there's a, there'll be another line. It's going to yeah. be this line. Yeah, right so if it was a cluster, yeah, everything would be. Yeah, it's going to go to that line, see it? And then the association and, and these folks would have control of that open space. Yeah, right. Yeah. right. Or if Well, yeah, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have it so the association, I have to draw up an association. Mm -hmm. you know. Or if it's a straight subdivision, and then you would essentially control. Right. I'm, I'm going to, I'll be honest, in a perfect world, like Ken says, dealing with people. I like the first concept, because now I have more control. I can put, I can put something in, in, in the deeds that they ain't going to cut the trees in between. Mm -hmm. and especially if we're going to put, hold off on those last two lots and have the road loop through. I like that. And that now the new lot line is going to be right at the end of the lot line, right yeah. at the end of the lots. And eventually, when I get my side approved, all that's going to stay natural is going to be open space. Mm -hmm. And then my side will have control of, out of all that land. Yeah. And the only thing I'm going to do is go in there and, and finish stomping it and grass it so it looks beautiful like it's on my side, you know? I was surprised looking at the map for the cluster that the open space isn't bigger. That's right. Well, there's... Is that because of is because of the property be, uh, the in between. In between. Yes. And normally you would take out 15% of the road. But in this oh, case, we're not building the road, sure. so that's uh, so it's actually acre for acre. Mm -hmm. You know, so if it's a one acre lot, it'd be one acre of more. So, uh, I can make well, I can make one work, and I can make two work. Ken, I think likes two. He's in favor. Of Nobody likes three. No, I, I'm not doing three. If you guys said I, I will, uh, yeah. I'll probably have that's to. Like uh, a trailer park. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Because I'm going to look at it. Oh, sorry. You got the houses on top of it. You're going to look at the super long house. It's just. Okay, so we can agree three's gone. All right, we're down to two and seven. <laughs> yeah, the two and then the extra. We've got the three. Yeah. <laughs> the road option. Three's just been replaced. You know, so, so I guess my, I guess the question that just pops into my head is the idea of the potential road again. Would you be able to do it? With the, the, the plan that you have for the for number one, yes, because you don't have space between the lots. I have some more frontage, um, so I, I can get a fifty foot right away. You can between two and yeah, well, between five and six, six and yeah, I guess it's five and six. Yes, uh, uh, five or six, six yeah. or seven. And we may have to make one lot a uh, conservation lot mm -hmm. or open space and. and you know, to, to make the math work. But I, but I think the frontage, I should be able to get that thing put right away in there. So. Okay. And I'm willing to wait until July if we have to. Let's do baby steps so everybody's yeah, on. I'll, I'll bring that, like I said, my yeah. husband's a treasurer, yeah. so he's one of the yeah. officers. Yeah. And I'll, I'll talk to him about it tonight. Okay. And he can talk to the other board member, yeah. the president, who yeah. who's here year round. Yeah. And, um, and actually, if... Um, Patrick is the only one that doesn't doesn't uh, he may be the only one that that would have a say anyway because yeah. anyone out he's the one that owns that last lot on my land. Yeah, we would definitely. Yeah, he can mix it. Up oh yeah, oh, I'm not going to get all the honest with you. I'm, I'm going to probably go and see him mm -hmm. like next week. I'm going to call him. I told him I like I like get, I like getting people all the neighbors. Here's how I do it. I get all the neighbors, I go and sit down with people before we go to any one of the boards. So now, instead of everybody beating the doors down and wearing new people out, they know exactly what's going on, you're going to cut the people in half, maybe down to a third, mm -hmm. okay? 
Nobody likes change. You're always going to have tire kickers. I understand that. But that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go to CPAT. If I gave him my word. He don't know me. I don't know him. I talked to him on the phone. And I even, gave, I even said to him, I says, if you want, give me a number. I'll sell you that, back. I'll sell you that 40 something acres. If, you want. If, he, if that's what you need, I want to be a good neighbor. That's how I left the room. I, I think that the only thing that the association may, may ask is, and this this may be a moot thing too, because if, if you know who who yep. would take care, who would maintain the road during well, the year? Well, once again, I, I asked one of my lawyers, not up in here, because the deeper I get into it, if we're going to go that route, then I'm going to have to get deeper into it. But there would be part of Langley Shore. You, 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 if anything, you give everybody a right of way to go on that, or you just make it. Well, it's going to be Langley Shore Road anyhow. You're going to extend the road out to there, so you just extend. You guys in the association, you just have it running. They have to plow out to here. So, so, guys, they, so we would yeah. take we would uh, take yeah. over yeah. the oh, right. the plowing and the maintenance and yeah. all of that because yeah. then I think that would be a big thing um, as far as what they yeah. might want to do. Well, that associ that association would also potentially pick up two or three more fees too. Oh, that absolutely. Be that are going to be moved at the building and yeah. that. Yeah. Part. I'm going to have. I think if I remember the plan, I might have it in my truck. I didn't tell you what. I think there's four more lots because I'm losing. Lots it would be. Yeah, because I'm losing. I'm losing one over here. Now there's four over there, and uh, and, and to make it work without moving all that, I might have to buy a little land from Dennis Shane for that. And he's looking to sell. Yeah. yeah. Well, Dennis is like a brother to me. He's my. He lives in Texas. <laughs> Texas, <laughs> Texas we grew up together. He's been trying to size the water. I'm not interested right now, but anyhow, whatever happens. But I can get a piece from him. But I can make it all work over there, you know. Um, okay, so it become Langley Shores. We yeah. would be responsible. Right. We'd pick up yeah. four more. Yeah. At least dues, dues paying. Right, right. He's trying to listen to Dennis. I'm going to pay his dues. <laughs> Good guy. Uh, but uh, and another thing, <laughs> trust me. I'm already we'll put him in the electric chair. He's my, my daughter's grandfather, uh, grand, uh, grand, what do you call it, uh, godfather. Yeah. That's how we go back, you know. I love Dennis, but oh my God. But um, right, he wants to develop the world. He's talking about doing that. I said, okay, right, when you're ready, just come, when you come down a little bit, you will let me know. You know, it's not worth $10 million, you know. But anyhow, uh, plus mine's going to be paid over to the circuit. It's going to be a brand new road, right? Yeah, it'll be paid and the grade may have to exceed like 10%. Yeah. It's not, you know, to, to, to get our grades to work to get down there. It might, may not, um, but that's kind of standard, but, you know, Young's Ridge and everything else, that's probably like a 15% road back. Oh, yeah, Young's Ridge, well, we all know that, but yeah. that, my, my new project will probably lay that out right now because I spent a lot of money. It's already, it's already going to plan all the engineering stuff, but uh, to see how it works, but the grade's nice. I, I matter of fact, I gravel the driveway going down, and it's pretty close to the grade of the road. If, if uh, when I go to get it approved, they, so I can drive up and down there, plus work on the you know down below and stuff. So, so I already did gravel the driveway. So if you drove down that driveway, that's going to be the grade of the road, believe it or not. And it's nothing, you know. It, you, know you can see on from option three B to phase two. Uh, potentially. Yeah. Or at least the driveway part. Oh, the, road, <laughs> the road, driveway, whatever. Driveway. <laughs> Currently driveway. Actually, another question, too. Couldn't he, he could carve out, how many of these could he carve out without doing a subdivision? Seven. Without going through the process of them? Well, you've got the, he can gift to his families. Uh, he can create the lot every five years. By the sounds of his family, he could probably do this whole thing without subdivision review. Over a period of time. No, you can gift out to your family, and that's not dictated by the every five year thing. No. He has to hold it for the first five years. But um, if you're gifting to blood relatives, and I, I, there's a few other family members too, it's not considered a lot. So if you had ten relatives you wanted to gift to, mm -hmm. you could give out the ten, and there's not a lot there. So that's the same thing. That's that's it. All right, so what else do we need? What else do you need from us tonight? Um, well, really, I guess if I, you know, like I, if we come before the little public hearing, naturally. Yeah, if you got a site visit, you doing a site visit? I'd love at this point. Are we doing it at this point in time? Or do you have um, he's really looking for concept uh, one or two so they can figure out where to put um, uh, tested data and stuff. Yeah. 
but he's so excited to get you out there you know, before it snows and gets any colder. I was thinking about that. Um, Bring him on home. A lot of grass. Everybody pulls on this. Oh, how are you going to cut this? I said, oh, well, Robin here, you guys must know Robin. He's been cutting this. And Robin, you need a bigger mower. He goes, I know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, whatever's good, you know. I'm going to give you guys my cell phone. Call me 24 7 if you have any issues. And I, I make things right. Like, uh, Ken knows what kind of work I do. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm treating it like, uh, like I'm working for you guys up there. So. But uh, Arnie, I think your preference would be concept one. And yeah. You would control the. Uh, such as a open space or yeah. conservation subdivision, you control those. Uh, and and if I get in, in, in between the right. you know. And I think like with concept two, they don't own this land, so they're going to be less likely to be out there cutting. With concept one, they're going to assume I own it. Yeah. It says something, blah, 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 about trees, whatever. You know, and, and it's all gone, and then they. Let's see, ask for forgiveness for some permission. Well, it's going to change it now. If we end up going with the road, if I could get, if I could get it right now, so I could be, let's say, the first five lots coming from from the uh, from who's that lot one down the bottom? Yeah. Is that what? Yeah. Uh, from there up to. Well, it, it, in this case, why not all seven lots? And but I, got, I get, I just can't do anything with these last two lots till we hear from you people. Now we get till July. I get my family off my back. Go see Ken, good luck, build a house. And, uh, and I'm not going to do anything with these two lots until we have meetings. And you guys give me the blessing, maybe no go. Now I'm going to keep what we have right here. Then you could just come back for a redivision of a subdivision yeah. or a provision or something right. like that. And I'll spend the money. I can spend the money to further, well, what I want to do, I got to think about this. I, I mean, I spent, I love them daily, but I spent a lot of money. 30, 30, a lot, a lot of money, 30 grand. So that's why, that's why I'm here for the blessing. I'm not Donald Trump here with all kinds of, I'm, I love Kenny's money. But, uh, but at the same time, maybe for years I've been dealing with it. <laughs> so, 30 years. <laughs> with me. <laughs> You said you wanted to move to California, now is your chance. <laughs> so if maybe we can go with this, based on, which I'm not going to shoot myself in the foot if I want to do something, get rid of three lots for the family. Uh, well, I get these first five lots, I ain't going to do anything with the last two until we get the blessing, whether we're going to put the road in. You guys say, yeah, we like it, everybody's on board, they like it. Now I can look into legal to extend it, the legal uh, yeah. mumbo jumbo. And then we could set, then I could have uh, Ken, I mean uh, Brad. Now you could say, look at, let's spend the money. Um, I got to buy a little land from Dennis to make it work. If I remember, maybe an acre. There's just two lots going on his land. And then I could spend the money on the road. I got to get the blessing from you people saying we love. It. And, if we did, and if we go with the seven, I mean you can do the test bits. There you go. And you, you know, don't use the last two or, don't, or lose one of them. That's not the end I'm of the I'm going to lose, I'll probably lose two, but I think the end of the world, we're talking $1,000, maybe something like that, you know? But we can probably get that, figure out where the road needs to go. The, yeah, the, you know, spread those lots out. Because right. that open space is, you know, we've got it all symmetric yeah. now. We can make it. Uh, I didn't want to get this approved the next four or five years, you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm serious, like I said. You know, my sister-in-law is a shock. You guys are going to meet her. I mean, you know what I mean? When you get in something You know, this meeting's live. <laughs> She's watching. It's on Facebook. Okay, it's on the okay. <laughs> okay, so it's that's the first shock that's going to be in a lake. Okay? <laughs> She's a shock. You'll meet her sometime. Hey, when she's in port of building permit, you're going to call me. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be up Bring your pliers and pull his teeth out of their shock you sent over here. <laughs> Once again, something for nothing. Let's go, you know. So, and uh, you know, I do have a plan. I get nothing to hide, and uh, I do have a plan showing the twenty on my side. It could be less, could be eighteen, and uh, and like I said, if somebody came in, look, we're going to buy you out for all the twenty lots. I'm not going to do it. You know, I'm just not going to do it. That's that's my goal. I go up there. That's my peace of mind. And my little grandkids come up, and uh, and um, you know, I mean, I'm not going to say I could die tomorrow. My wife. Gonna sell or whatever, but uh, that's a chance we're gonna take. You know, so I want to deed my five little grandkids something before I die, and I want to give them maybe a couple lots of peace. And uh, you know, they're only you know only two to two, six years old. So, but that's my goal. That's what I'm gonna do. So. And once again, I like that concept of grass. And like my wife says, you're the greatest. 
two hours to give some money away. What are you doing? Get the bill up to 80 grand for a seed. Now she's got me thinking. You know what I mean? But she did say, if you buy me a big lawnmower like those John Deals with a cap, she'll cut it. So I'm on to something right now. <laughs> The ignition. So, in, in a perfect world, so you guys know, I have the house on the top, and once the road's approved uh, for the 20, 18 and 20, now I can build a lot on the water. If my son wants to build it, I have no intention to sell him. And if my wife was like, I really want to get down there, so we'll build a house down there. I'll have the best of both worlds. So, mm -hmm. and the road will be approved. Yeah. Drainage should be working and. Trust me, when we had the rain stars, storms, I was at home crying. I drove all the way up here because I, 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 I'm protective and you know, I know how people can be. Yeah, like it's I, 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 I'll make it quick. I know how people can be just because I'm from Mass or whatever. I know there's some ignorant people out there. I'm not one of them. I'm going to treat the lake better than, than, than as if it was my family. But, uh, so, can I just add to, so kind of along the train of thought you were a couple of minutes ago. So the idea with the cluster is nice because it sort of guarantees that there's a piece of land there that's not going to be developed. But it's going to it's going to be all it's going to be all um, it's going to be all the space no matter what. Right. If I'm adding it to my what happens piece, when you're not here anymore? They can't touch it. It's going to be an association. It'll be in the deed. Right. It'll be written in the deed. It's that? going to be written in the deed that that land right there will remain in the Yes. Road? Yeah. If we go with the regular two and a half acres, the lot line's going to be at the back of the lots right there. Right. That the open space starts right after that. So no matter what, they can never touch it. Now it's going to be the whole piece. That, but that's I'm, keeping somebody from down. I mean, that's not like because that land's got a man that's my land. So that'll become open space for the other subdivision. For the, for other, the subdivision. other subdivision. But, yes. So that will have so that, that will have restrictions that will be and restrictions. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a problem. It's not necessarily my or a concern that somebody's going to be out here doing something. It's in between the house lots would be my concern. Mm -hmm. And that's why the yeah. second yeah. concept seemed to guarantee. I'll make it work. What are you going to have? Um, hundred foot lot, right? Or two hundred, two hundred. Two hundred. I can make that. Yeah, I think it was the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Even one hundred fifty feet would work. What do you do? If you build a ranch, or or um, <clears throat> or. Um, well, that's all you need to build. Yeah, yeah a ranch. If if you want to put a two or three car on it, and it's too wide, you just going to design the house so it goes off the back. Like that. An L shaped ranch or. Uh, well, 200 feet, then you've got your... Oh, oh, I can make it work. So you lose 50 with the setback, so it's still 150. Yeah. What happens if something happens between phase one and phase two? So, uh, what do you phase two doesn't get done. It stays as a single line. Right, right. Mm -hmm. That's why I won't go on my life and I can control this. Yeah. I mean, my son, my two daughters, they're great people. Believe me, they're, 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 we're a good family. We, respect people and that's why I'm here but uh, no matter what it's all going to be protected like I asked Ken do you want me to put it in the association I like putting it in conservation you know what I mean but I don't know how you guys do it up here this way everybody's protected you know what I mean because I know how people are there's some different people they want to come up here and take over you, you can't this ain't their territory you know what I mean we had talked early on with three rivers being involved for the total area or something managing or something yeah. as well too but and but only thing if I give whoever gets it I want to be able to control like all the grass I want the grass to be taken care of and cut you know what I mean so like if conservation a lot of the conservation wow well, you can't really look then it goes to duck I want to be able to I want so when you drive around in that whole area it's all grass it looks like a golf course it looks nice and clean that's why I want to have a little bit of input. I want to be able to, because of the money I'm spending, even up behind those buzzy roadblocks where it's been stumped, that's going to be all grass. It's going to be, I mean, drive in there. Do me a favor, just drive in my driveway. And I do have a sign. It's going to be up. I have a nice post with a sign. I haven't yelled at me yet. Yes, me. I don't have an address on my house. So if I'm going to have a heart attack over this, how are they going to find me? <laughs> so I had a sign made, 760. It's going to be up on a post. So. But if you no, drive, it, are you leaving? I thought I asked you to be down in the So, so I guess you don't have a concern whether you go cluster route or the regular route. So, I, I guess I'm a little confused. We're not looking to make a decision. Yeah. You guys then can go forward and say, okay, do you want to do uh, one or do you want to do two? Is what it comes down to. It seems to me it's more your call than our yeah. call. That makes well, sense. Yeah. 
Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend a few more bucks with uh, Brad here. Now, that I'm going to look into that road a little bit more. It ain't the end of the road. It ain't like we're doing engineering and stuff. And I'm going to look. I'm going to tweak it out a little bit more now that I have a good feeling what you guys want uh, between one and two. I'll have that done in a week or two. So when we come back for the next meeting, we're all aware of what's going on. And I'll try to give Ken his open space and put the road in there. <laughs> and I'm going to see how it lays up. So it's either going to be concept one or two. Because mm -hmm. it changes a few things with the road. Three day. What's that? Three day. Three day. Yeah. All right. Can I thank you? All right. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Wait one minute. Before. When you're saying, see you. Thank you. If we chose from this uh, three drawings that you chose tonight, oh, the concept so two, yeah. is that, yeah. are you going to come back with uh, and see us with a concept that involves laying a short drive? That's right. And, um, we won't really know what it sounds like. I can give you some, we can give them some, can you I can show you a concept right now, how it's going to look, okay? Where it's going to come between the lots, you know, I, don't, I, I already got something close. Mm -hmm. But to really, well, that's all I need. They just want to see how it's going to get to it. And I can give something to you that you can show around and say, look at it. I mean, honestly, if nobody, I mean, these people, these last couple of houses, they're pretty far down closer to the water, Ken, on mm -hmm. 25 and 26, all them lots. I don't think any traffic, well, there's no traffic. Gonna be, first of all, anybody all the way around the corner is going to come up the old way. It's mostly the other way is going to come this way. But they got, some, they got a good barrier between the road and their houses. I don't think it's going to bother anybody, and I, I, I think the concept's awesome, just for uh, for the fire and ambulance and and just to get in and out of there. Snowstorms, it's just an easy run to get out. And you know what else you can do if you really want to push it? If you have a bunch of crybabies up there, oh, you need one. It's okay. One, and then I've seen that quite a bit where. Uh, a private roads trying to get an easement to widen it out and this and that. All you have to have is one, and it's not going through. Well, the circle wall, the circle wall that maybe we, maybe you'll be interested in solving a lot. If because there's no house on that lot, lot twenty six, lot twenty six. It's changed hands a couple of times. Yes, right. Yeah. And I've talked to them and I say if you're interested in solving, let me know. Not that I want to spend any more money up here. I spent a ton up here right now, but uh, but the circle is a lot wider than the road's going to be. And there's another thing you can do, food for thought, make it a one way. You know what I mean? Now, you can make it a one way all the way around, except for uh, in, in, for the emergency vehicles. They're going to get down there whether you know, one way or not. They get the right way to get out of there. Think about it. It's, it, it you, can't, you, can't, you can't beat it. You know, a lot of people living down there didn't like it. They'll be going down that one way too. But you can make that a one way, so you're going to come back, go around, and come out that way. But the secure, I mean, the fire department, you know, Ken, I'm sure he's coming down to yell at somebody. He's going to be down there, going the opposite way. Or, you know, the fire, police. In three years. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, it's, it's a win-win for everybody. I don't know how you got, I don't know how you drive. Well, I'm a little bit high strung, so for me to go around all day every day. Oh, yeah, forget about it. You're used to it. Yeah. And you don't, I don't have a choice. So <laughs> you do what you got to do. Yeah. So yeah, as you come down to this lot, uh, eight, I don't know, nine, the road comes to route nine, and then after nine to two. Oh, okay, you can kind of see it right there a little bit. Yeah, it one comes out. Uh, it runs where the white right letters are in the middle. Oh. No, it was, uh, this oh, was the original camp road, road yeah. and then this was a subdivision afterwards. Gotcha. That's why there's a cul-de-sac through it, so opens up. It's, it's good because there's a lot of trees to the right of that road, too, that, that will cover Dennis's land, you know? But I really do. I like that time that throw just like I said, make it a one way. All right, sounds good to me. Okay, I'm gonna uh, let me do some more homework, mm -hmm. and um, we'll get on for the next meeting. We're on. Uh, we, we should be December twenty seventh. How about the 25th? So I don't have to buy presents. Ah, oh, they pick me off the box. The uh, and then we're jumping all the way probably to January. That's so okay. should be only one meeting in December. That's well. okay. Like I said, if I can hit your lots, come springtime, we ain't going to be doing nothing over the winter, and then leave the last lots alone. Like I'm going to give them three right this way. It'll probably be two of this year. Mm -hmm. I don't know about my sister. It could be a year or two down the road. But uh, for now, for next year, there'll be only one year built. Maybe the fall, you may have the brothers going to come up. 
Um, are, are you okay with them being able to do the test bits? No? Oh, I don't care. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so it's going to be worse. They're just not on. You not guys are okay with us whether we have decided to go cluster or not cluster. You can still do test bits. I think I, yeah, I think I can figure that out. I'll make sure. And I asked Ken, I got, I've got a couple of uh, brothers up here. I uh, stay in my I asked Ken if I could go in to start cleaning up up by the road with all the stumps and the debris and the trees that are falling down. Just, just to keep busy until the weather sets in. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think it disturbed a lot. So like I said, uh, well, you know how I develop land we go on my side, but I want to be able to get it going so I can get it early succeeding in the spring. And he didn't have a problem with that either. So, but um, and I'll, I'll have a, I'll have a road coming up for you. you food for thought. Maybe you can get the thinking going. Give me a lot. I'm off the hook. And hey, if you need till next fall, so what? I mean, this way you get breathing room. Let everybody think about it over the winter, and, and uh, it's a win-win for everybody. And honestly, I'm up. I could go. I could have this. My heart and soul is on the left hand side, my own piece. Yeah. The other side, it's going to cost me money to put the road to pick up three or four more lots. Mm -hmm. And he really is really worth it. But like I said, I'm going to be a good neighbor to everybody. And I think at the at, at the end, everybody's going to say, "Wow, well, it's great." Okay. So I don't want to be his out anymore. Um, <clears throat> we got another way to go. Yep. That's when I come out, so yep. the next meeting is going to be what kind? Are we going to? I'll bring a plan back that you're showing the 20 lots somewhere around there because it might change, it might get on the 18. It might even hurt me by putting the road in there. I might, I might lose a few lots on my side. So really, it's probably it's, it's, yeah. it, it, it's probably going to hurt me a lot more than time. Yeah, because 15% of that road will come out. There you go. So I'm going from 20 lots, I'm losing probably, I'm, I'm going to lose a lot. So it ain't like I'm gaining on anybody, you know. I know. Did I just shoot myself on the foot? A little bit. <laughs> well, you still got four extras over here, two of which are going to be lost on Buzzle. So you have two extra there, and you're losing two in the other one. But by the time I put the road in and stuff, I'm oh, you're losing there. Yeah, I'm yeah, losing that, that, area, that area. Yeah, whatever that area is. Because yeah. yeah. he'll lose it as open space. Right. Yeah. And it does, um, so you're going to density will change. Well, but I mean, you know, a couple lots ain't gonna kill me. Like yeah. I said, everybody's happy. I don't like to show this. But he's gotta play ball for us if he does. Yeah, right, right. right. So and that would be probably, you know, Leslie. That would probably be to find out whether or not he would be on board to cut through his to get right away. And that number twenty six, if your if the association could check. But I think you were gonna approach him. Right? Well, that's right. You were gonna. Yeah, talk maybe I should. Like, like I said, I got to talk to him. And, okay, that's right. I'll, you know, uh, I'll talk to the um, association. Officers, mm -hmm. and, and if it's positive, then because it means sure. If we if we're going to be assuming responsibility of the maintenance and plowing um, after the road is built, then that's something we, you know the whole association is going to have to. Well, it's, uh, you know, it's an old you coming up. Oh no, I, I understand. It's I mean, it's but I can't I can't yeah. say for them that they're the ones. It's going to be paid. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, but uh, yeah, you know what we'll do if we could. I don't know. You don't have to give me a number, but it'd be nice if we can get in touch with each other. So I call Pat because once you break the news off the of people, he's going to get a phone. I think he's got relatives that live over there. He said. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think he said he had relatives down a few house lots now, but I don't want no surprises. I just don't call him. I'll go see him in Concord, Mass, and say, "Hey, here's what we're going to do. How do you feel? Yeah, if he throws him out of his shot, <laughs> then what? I mean, yeah. you know, do you want to be a good neighbor? And I can explain to him and. His house, where he's going to build his house, is around the corner where his dirt driveway comes around, is down low, and you're going to see it from there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're going to plant a few trees when we can. It's a no brainer. Do you want to be a good neighbor? You just, you know, you know, so I, I, I can meet with him. So this way, when y'all open a can of worms, I'm going to cover, I'll cover it on this end. I can give you, I can give you my husband's phone number if you want, and that way okay. you sure. can. Uh, once you talk to Pat, you can give him a call and let him know what your conversation was. Once we get into it and have a plan, then I'll break the road. Well, you don't want to do that. He may never come back. We may never see him again. That's fine. I took his picture of my, this is my guy. I just had these cards made as a picture of my daughter's house in the front. So I'm not, everybody thinks I'm a big builder. I like my development. I built golf courses. That's what I did. I had these made for you people 24-7. I'll drive by at midnight. Yeah, I'm getting just... tired. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that. Just call me anytime. Take up my number. He can't always call me. Yell at me. All right. We good?
Yeah, all good. All right. right. So thanks, guys. We appreciate your time. Absolutely. Well, thanks. You talk to him, ask him how he feels, and then you call me, and I'll, yeah, wait, I'll wait to hear from you, and then I'll, I'll get a pat and go. All right. He wants to come up, I'll show him some man's disease that'll walk around and go over there. Okay. Did you guys want to have a walk? Do you want to have a site walk before the next meeting? I'm going to bring you a plan of my. It could be four, it could be 17 lots. I could have lost two or three. I don't know. I know I didn't by two. I just did. I would think just whenever you get a chance, some guy take a look. Oh, I'm going to take a ride. Absolutely. Yeah. I want. I want to be there. Yeah. Because I just, you know what I mean. I, you know, I just uh, like to be there when people are there. Mm -hmm. How I often? Oh, what is this? 24-7, you call. Yeah. <laughs> 20, call I'm sure it's call me. Yeah. It's funny because I have four wheels going down to the water, and I don't even know who they are, so I put cameras. I see from my office. I have, I, I get the hill, hill time. I show them to him. I put these cameras on my house so I can see who drives in right from the water. Mm -hmm. and I can see the whole place. Because I was yelled at, I guess in Maine, nobody likes no trespassing signs. So I put them up. So, uh, but there's no big deal. I don't think I was just busting them or whatever. But uh, so I can see who's in and out of there. But uh, you just let me know, because I'm up all the time. You know, I just get away from everybody. I'm up tomorrow. Right? Working here. I'm up Saturday. You want to do it this weekend? You want to do it Thursday? But off Thursday? I get Thursdays. I have to sit there. Yeah, Thursday's Thanksgiving, Thursday right? Thursday's Thanksgiving. Well, not this Thursday. Bobby, yeah. Thursday. 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 I'll go up with you. Yeah. I, can bring, I can bring Bob with my husband, Bob. Perfect. Right. And then that way he can ask you any questions yeah. that he yeah. might That's ask. Good. Yeah. That would work great. I can do everything. I, like I said, I've been up there for the night. I know we answer the area. But, uh, yeah, you see, which, when you can see it, hold it, hug it, you know what I mean? You, you see more. It's easier to look at plans. You know what you're looking at. And I'll show you exactly what my goal is, what I like, what I want to do up there, you know? And if you can round up all, whoever wants to go, just call me. We wouldn't be able to do it. We wouldn't be able to get an official one in, though, because we'd have to do the timing, right? The it would have to be an extra meeting, but I, I, can, can you do a site without an application? I don't know. It would just be a pre-app. Just okay. to... Yeah, I could do it as a pre-app. Nothing, nothing official, essentially. All I have to do is put it on weekend. the website for like a week. Mm -hmm. In a perfect world, Fridays, Mondays, or weekends, I work seven days a week. So, and whatever's good for you, people. Mm -hmm. But I like to be here just so I can point things out and I can explain to you what my, yep. you know, what my goal is, you know. Yep. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, well, I'll do that. I'll call. Yep, sounds good. And I'll let you know. And I'll let, Leslie, I'll let you know, too. Yeah, let me know, yeah. Um, are you thinking about doing one and, and showing up? To make it a, make an official one kind of deal. If the board's meeting, if a quorum's meeting, it's an official meeting. Right. That's what I'm saying. If you want to grab eyes, Leslie, Leslie and I just kind of look. Right. Just Leslie and I, as far as I know, it's just, as as I know, it's it's just the two of you. Then we don't need to post it. You guys can do it this weekend. Okay. You know, I'll give you. <laughs> Don't get me wrong here. You guys are more than welcome to do your thing. I just like to explain everything what I'm yeah. doing, what's going on. I mean, I, I mean, you can peek at it. Sure, you can drive, you know, just, like I said, I drive the driveway going down so I can, you know, keep everything nice and clean. I seated it everything right behind me. Every time I disturbed the half acre, it was growing the next day. But mm -hmm. uh, It's one thing just driving up Buzz Road looking at it. It's another yeah. thing driving on his property down the driveway and looking at the phase two. Yeah. Yeah, but right now we're basically concerned with phase one. Buzz Road. That's what yeah, we're, Buzzle we're Road. you know. Yeah. Well, we may have to change the name of Buzzle Road. Buzzard's sure. Road. He wants to have, we'll just change the sign, it's easier. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yeah, All right, thanks for right. Thanks thanks guys. Appreciate your time. All right, I'll get so back to you for hearing this. I got yeah. the number. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to wait to hear from you guys, right? So, yeah. Well, All right. And like I said, you call me. I'm here Friday and Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Nice meeting you guys. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Thanks for See you later. Thank you. Uh oh. Bye. <laughs> 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 You're a little shy. Sorry. Sorry for wearing everybody out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to begin. I warned them. <laughs> see you. We'll see you. All right. We're to old business. And we're to the timber harvesting uh, department. And uh, I don't know. You know, I, I'm hesitant, I guess, about doing too too much here since we only have three of us left. Uh, at some point, I was curious as to whether or not we could get a uh, decision tonight. Um, you know, about trying to follow the uh, the state requirements or um, 
keep our acting requirements as, as they are. Um, Tom, I know you were saying earlier that you, you had talked to Steve uh, pertaining to what he thought all we might have to change in the ordinance book. You know, maybe that's worth throwing out there to people. Well, yeah. Um, in the yellow book, you turn to page 72, 519 Timber Harvesting. The header reads, the following standards show govern timber harvesting within the shoreland and resource protection areas. Steve has indicated to me that he sees as a solution to uh, separate main forest service standards from the way it is now, which uh, uh, he and Ken are think are in agreement that currently uh, timber harvesting operations have to abide by the same setbacks on uh, uh, buffers on the rural uh, the wetlands. And what Stephen has been after us to do is to separate out those um, statutes that are applicable to timber harvesting and leave the wetland protections of the smaller um, wetlands beneath 10 acres in place as the town meeting has kind of told us to do. Um, but I don't, I don't know if he and Ken or the board might uh, find that there's a more um, clear-cut way to differentiate between the two standards, um, those that are applicable to building and development and those that are applicable to timber harvesting in regards to the wetlands. But he just said to me that all, all that he would be happy with and he would achieve what he wants to in terms of the separation is to just omit the, that second clause in that uh, header on the timber housing. So we just read the following standards show government timber housing. So you, you're not bringing the question of, of any other standards uh, other than the state standards. I guess that's the way he's perceiving that. I'd like to see it. I'd like to see it read the following state standards show government timber housing. And then there's no question. There's no question. Yeah. It clarifies yeah. it. Yeah. So we don't have to do that tonight, but I was hoping, uh, as maybe uh, Bob expressed, that we could get a vote on this tonight. But, but the standards are for within the wetland buffers. The option one, the option two. So if you removed shoreland and resource protection verbiage, then these standards would be all over. All over town. All over town. I was leaning just towards the land use job. That was the other thing you were discussing too. Well, yeah, we do have to pull out some of those footnotes in the land use job also. We basically, uh, I don't know how many plugs we have to un undo, but we basically have to uh, retract whatever in Stephen's perceptions and Kenny's perceptions are making those wetland buffer uh, standards applicable to the timber housing. I'm pretty sure that there was no intention to make those uh, more stringent standards apply to timber housing, but that's what happened with the omission of some clar clarity there. Um, and I was ready to make a case for uh, um, separating them out. Uh, but I don't know if I rattle on tonight or not. Well, I, have, I guess I had a little bit of a hard time, you know, trying to do something without Gavin here. I mean, I, I know I know that you know he's on one side here. And, you know, there's other people on another side. I'm not sure if there's anybody else that's over toward his side, but I'd hate to. You know. I agree. It's something you want. Let's. I, I would have him here. Oh yeah. Make make the decision. Okay, yeah. I'm going to vote or I'm not going to vote, but be able to make his statement, which I think he would make. It seems like listening to him. So I would prefer maybe to hold off on a vote until the next meeting that we have, which is, you know, a couple of weeks away or so. Sure. But I'm thinking as far as changes, it would just be on that land use chart, get rid of that R4 and just turn them to P's. And so why do you suppose Steve was looking to eliminate that within the shoreland and resource protection areas right there? Because, uh, well, one thing that comes up immediately is 
when you when you use the term resource protection areas, you're using you're not differentiating that differentiating that from Acton's resource protection areas, which are the smaller wetlands and the ones that the tiny is above, versus the state's uh, wetland, RP wetlands, which are ten acres of bigger. Mm -hmm. So I mean it made sense to me really, except I would like to insert the word state, mm -hmm. then there'd be no equivalent about what the hell you would try to delineate that. And then Brenda, you and Ken were saying that that would then make everything the same throughout the town. If you take out the RP and the shoreland, which is what Steve is saying, then you're saying that all timber harvesting is subject to the state standards. And the state doesn't say that. The state is saying only oh, those 10 acre those well, 10 that acres. Buffer in the right. Well, where, can you say that again? If you take out of the header yeah. And the 5.19, if you take out the word shoreland and RP, yeah. then you're saying that to that timber harvesting anywhere in town. You can only do 4%, anywhere in town. you can only do right. the 60 square feet basal area. And the state is saying that these standards apply to the 10 acre areas that they've designated as RP. So you're, if I'm following your line of thinking there, you're, you're saying it's probably necessary to use the word state somewhere. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. Yeah. I, I, I mean, you can use state, but I think it says somewhere that it's, it's state. But I, it, it, it isn't. The states, if, if you take it out here in Shoreland, you're saying those state standards are applicable, applicable to every timber harvesting project in, in the town. Every, even in the straight rural, even. Well, that's what the option is, Stephen. But the state wants you to have those standards only in the 10-acre and the 10-acre RP sites that they have designated as RP. That's what these standards are for. Is just for yeah. those sections. Yeah, but you wouldn't be, you wouldn't, uh, because in the various that follow is 519. That, 591. That, that comes out in the uh, in the various that follows. That you're following state standards because none of this verbiage, I don't think, besides the header. How the chapter 1000 is is the state, it just says timber harvesting dash statewide standards. <laughs> For we have timber harvesting, get rid of the whole sentence, and it just says statewide standards. And then it well, has, you know, right there, right? shoreline integrity slash treatment, option one, option two. So why wouldn't we be better off just doing, if we're trying to get to the state standards, assuming we were voting on that and we have decided that, um, why don't we just take the verbiage then and put it in as is, rather than trying to, you know, muscle it a little differently and then end up making a mistake. Exactly. So how would you make that separation? Are you, are you, are you, okay, I will. Go ahead and tell me how you make that separation. If you think there's a way to do it in your head. Well, I, all I mean is just say state standards, state standards period. and then go into what it is down below. The breakdown of that. Yeah. And it looks like the shoreline integrity we have exactly slash treatment we have exactly. All of this is what the it, it was, exactly. Yeah. It was yeah. exactly. <laughs> I just cut and pasted what they sent to us. I just cut and pasted it right in there. So it should be verbatim. So so essentially we would be doing what Steve right. wanted, yeah. except we're not leaving the sentence at all. We're yeah. just going to put, you know, this timber harvesting, colon, state standards. Yeah, I, I like complete sentences, but I, I would prefer to see it read the following state standards should govern timber harvesting. But anyway, I mean, maybe yeah. we're still getting ahead of it a little bit too, because right. I think, I think, you know, yeah. who knows? We we may have, you know, a group of people here that I'm not reading, you know, that well, and maybe the vote goes the other way yeah. and leave it the same as it is right now. I I, I honestly don't know. So um, table it to another day. Well, yeah, but maybe with you know amongst ourselves here, you, you know, 
maybe some people will look at the video too, but to, to say that let's see if we can bring this to a vote um, in that first meeting in December. One, one thought I'd like to interject here is that I think we have to look at what we are gaining when we come into appliance for state standards. And that would be that uh, adopting uh, relative to our current standards, or as they're being interpreted in anyway, a less stringent option than at present, we will gain the benefit of state guidance, oversight, and regulatory authority. Currently, we don't have any of that. And I think we're in danger more of, uh, because the reality of the situation now is we are not able to uh, oversee, regulate, or enforce any standards if there are cases of uh, uh, abuse of the, of the landscape or the forestry standards. We're, we are incapable of addressing those problems. But with, when we go along with uh, uh, main forest service standards, we avail ourselves of a lot more, I, I feel, more uh, uh, beneficial land use standards than are currently available to us. Anything else then on the timber harvesting at this stage? You just put it on. First item on the agenda, so yeah. next we'll week. Do it. We'll, you know, we'll, you know, these guys will be back. Maybe we know that we'll do the other one first. Just tell me not to come back and say, yeah. Yeah. nine. So, <laughs> yeah. um, before we uh, adjourn, I'm going to throw it out there that uh, unless somebody's really, you know, against it. Um, we'll do the meeting December 7th and then skip the one on the 21st. You got it. That's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, the next meeting after that would then become something like January 4th. One in December. One in December and then back to normal in January. Okay. All right. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. All right.